Hey there, Andrew here, welcoming you to another episode of Research and Reviews. This is episode four of a four-part series on my scanner saga. Episode one was about my amazing experience with zip scanners. Episode two was a retroactive unboxing. Episode three was my initial reactions to the Uniden SDS100. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways a total novice can program this radio. And we're gonna start right now. Method one is zip code scanning using the radio only. Now there are two presumptions using this method. Number one, that you have updated the firmware and number two, you have uploaded the most current national database. If you haven't or don't know how to do these two operations, just let me know and I'll make you up a quick tutorial. Presuming those two items are in place, let's get started. Step number one is to set your zip code. You start by pressing the menu button, then using the knob on top, scroll downward to set your location. Then you press the knob and then you press again to select enter your zip code. In this case, we're in USA, so press again to select USA, and then use the keypad to enter your zip. Once your zip code is entered, press again. Get this, if your uh, full database isn't turned on, you may get this prompt. And in this case, just press the knob again and then it will load the full database. Once the database is loaded, the radio will go back into scan mode. The next step will be to set your service type. As you did before, you're going to go to the menu button, press that, scroll down to select service type, press the knob, by default, you'll see that everything is turned on. In our demonstration, we're going to listen to business frequencies. So we'll turn off aircraft by pressing the knob. Scroll down, we'll keep business on. We'll turn off corrections. We're gonna turn off emergency ops, EMS dispatch, EMS TAC, EMS talk, federal, gonna turn off fire dispatch. Fire attack, fire talk. Gonna turn off ham, turn off hospitals, interop, law dispatch, law attack, law talk. But let's say we're interested in media, so we're gonna keep that one on. Turn off military, turn off multi dispatch, multi attack, multi talk. I'm not sure what other is, but we're gonna turn that off too. Gonna turn off public works rail, schools. Let's say we're interested in security, so we're gonna keep that. Transportation will turn off. Utilities will turn off. And none of the others have anything in them. Step three will be to create a favorites list to drop this database into. You'll press the menu button again to back out one level. You'll scroll to manage favorites, press the knob. Under new favorites lists, you press the knob again. This new favorites list will have a default name, which is right on the top there, it says favorites zero. You can scroll down to rename at the very bottom and rename that favorites list, but in our demonstration, we're just gonna leave it as favorites zero. We're gonna scroll down to add current database channels, and that will drop the uh, channels that we had uh, selected into this favorites list. Press the knob to add them. And this is just a confirmation. We'll press the knob again for yes. And it is now adding the information that we just selected.
Okay, now I'm going to add a pro tip. You're going to press this menu button once, and then you're going to press it once again. Now scroll down to service types. Press the button on the top. At this point, you're going to want to go through the list and turn on all of the service types. And the reason why is because any of those that you have turned off that you use in another favorite list will not work unless you turn them on here. So we're just going to go through and using this top button, we're going to turn on, 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 all through the list. All right, they're all on. Step four is to select which favorite list you want to listen to. You'll start by again hitting the menu button to back out. Press the knob on top under set scan selection. Scroll down to select list to monitor. Press the button again. In this case, we're going to turn off full database. And then I want to turn off all of my other favorite lists and just turn on the one we just created. I have several here, so I have a few to scroll through. Oops, turn that one off, turn that one off, Oop. and turn that one off. Now press the menu button and press it again and press it again. It's loading everything for favorite zero and it is beginning to scan the frequencies that I loaded. So it's just that simple to program via zip code. It is a little bit imprecise though. Sometimes you'll get more frequencies than you're looking for. To be more precise in what you're programming, you're going to want to use Sentinel. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Again, I have a couple of presumptions in mind. Number one, that you've already loaded Sentinel onto your computer. And number two, that you've already downloaded the most recent database. As before, if you haven't done these steps and don't know how and would like a tutorial, just let me know and I'll work one up for you. Now let's open up Sentinel. You're going to start by double clicking the Sentinel icon. You'll see the databases, uh, one for the USA database, one for Canada, and then also your favorites list. Since we're in the USA, we're going to expand the USA list. We're going to scroll down. In this case, since I'm in Washington State, we're going to open that up. So we'll expand. That will show you all of the counties. Now let's open up King County. What you'll see here are three options, nationwide channels, statewide channels, and county systems. Generally, the county systems are going to give you the local channels you're going to want to listen to. We'll go ahead and open that up. In our test here, let's say we want to listen to business frequencies, specifically the media. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this. What that does is it opens up all of the business frequency options in the right hand pane. Toward the bottom, you're going to see the media frequencies, King, Cairo, Como, and the news choppers. Those are the ones we want. So I'm going to start by clicking the top option. Hold down the shift key and go down to the bottom option. I've now selected the four options for media. Next, just right click and then click on append to favorites list. Now we're going to make a new favorites list. Click new and we're going to call it media. Click OK, and boom, go to the left-hand pane, you will see a new favorites list titled Media. Now all you have to do is upload that to your radio. To accomplish that, plug one side of your USB cable into the computer and the other into the port marked Charge. You will see USB cable detected, and you'll want to press the button on top, the knob on top, and then that will put you into mass storage mode. Now click on scanner, 
click on Write to Scanner. What I usually do is I will click the Erase Favorite List on Scanner. What that does is it just gives you a fresh write from the computer onto your scanner, and it will include all of your previous favorite lists and the new one that you just created. So you click Erase Favorites List on Scanner, click OK. It'll give you a caution saying, hey, you're going to erase everything that's on your scanner, but everything that's on the scanner will be replaced as soon as I hit OK anyway, so we're good. I'll hit OK. It writes everything to the scanner. And boom, it's in. Before you disconnect the cable, of course, you want to properly unmount the radio from the computer. So you just click on eject and boom. Now you can take the cable off of the radio safely. Load all of the favorite lists and go back into scan mode. Now what you'll want to do is press the menu button and then under set scan selection, you'll press the knob, you'll scroll down to select lists to monitor. In this case, you want to always make sure that full database is turned off. I'm also going to turn off all of the things that I normally listen to and only listen to the new favorite list that I created. So I'm scrolling down, I'm turning all of these other things off and there's media. Click that and now we back out by pressing menu, press menu again, press menu again. It's loading media and now I am just scanning the new favorites list that I created. So it's just that easy. Now I used media for this example, but you could have just as easily set up a favorites for EMS, fire, police, anything that you're interested in. So those are two ways that a novice can program up an SDS 100 fast. While this is the final episode of my scanner saga series, there's a lot to learn about the Uniden SDS 100. And as I learn new things, I'll be making more videos. So I hope to see you then.